Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be the first episode of the collector's challenge where I'm going to go and try to find every single thing in the game. There are like 30 collections and we're going to try to complete them all, which I've never done before in The Sims. So I'm like really excited because I love collecting things. So this is the family that we're going to be playing with. This is actually a daughter that I had from one of my past Sim families. Her name is Cassidy Burden. Um, she was in college and then she got pregnant by um, Clement Frost, the like Santa of the game, I guess. And so she had to like drop out of college and this is the daughter. Her name is Elsa Frost. I just thought that was fitting. And yeah, this is the sim that we're actually going to be playing with. I just left her with her mom just because they like had a very close relationship because it was just them two. And yeah, that's just like, I don't know, I just like them together in a household. So Cassidy, she basically was like kind of evil. She was very snobby, like as a teenager and stuff. So I have her as the leader of the pack. She's also materialistic and jealous and self-assured. And then as far as Elsa, I have her doing the world famous celebrity because she is um, Mr. Frost's daughter, so I just thought that was kind of funny to make her, like, famous for that. She's also materialistic, self-absorbed, and a perfectionist. So, yeah, I think I have them both as young adults. Um, I don't, I don't really care about the age or whatever, because everything that we're going to be doing can be done by like young adults. So this is the house that we're going to be playing in. I have no idea how this box got stuck here, but I cannot delete it for the life of me. So this is one of the really big lots in Newcrest. I wanted to put it on a big lot because I know we're going to need like a ton of things. We're going to have to do gardening. We're going to have to do like a rocket ship. Like there's going to be a ton of random things um, in our yard, but that's what we're gonna have to do. So this is Cassidy's room right here. Um, I tried to just make it look really sleek and kind of fancy. Oop, I need to move that clock over. That's gonna bother me. Sorry. Um, but I also have her, she's like a, like a mom vlogger. I don't even think she has a job. Yeah, it's, yeah, so she was just like a mom vlogger. And then they have this big um, shared bathroom together. I really like the bathroom. It's really simple. I just, I think it's cute though. And then this is Elsa's room. I tried to leave it like blue, like, I don't know, all of her outfits are kind of blue and then her mom's pretty pink and everything. This is the living room. I tried to keep it really simple. The mom also, um, she's into music. She doesn't have any of those like traits or anything, but she like makes stuff and yeah, she like, sells her CDs and stuff like that. This is their kitchen, pretty in pink, it's really cute. I tried to keep everything really simple because I really just wanna focus on, you know, getting the collections. I gave them a nice little pool, their little chess table. Um, they even have a hot tub and a little kid stuff because I really like the little kiddie pool because they can like lounge in it and stuff, it's really cute. Um, we have some nice, you know, landscaping going on. If you hear like a weird sound, my bearded dragon is like scratching. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm like, I keep moving him and he's just going insane. So don't mind that. They also have like a little workout running thing and an easel. So like I said, we're going to have to be getting like a lot more stuff out here. But I also have this huge basement, which this is where we're going to be keeping, you know, all of the things. So I actually put one of these lock things just so only she can get in it. And I also just went ahead and put like the element display thing, um, some of these like cork boards because we're going to be getting like postcards and then also one of these like chests that came with the university pack just so we can hold some things. I also went ahead and put all these racks here just so we can start um, putting things on here and everything else is pretty open. We might have to make this smaller or, or you know, the more that we get into things, um, we'll definitely start moving things around because I'm very organized and it'll like drive me insane if it's like all crazy. So yeah, I also love this. I know this is random, but I did not know that we had these for the door. I guess I just like always like skipped over them. I have no idea, but I thought that was like so adorable. 
Okay, so really quickly, I just want to go through and show every single collection that we're going to be trying to achieve. So I'm just going to go through them quickly. So we have frogs, gardening, my sims trophies, which can be dug up from rocks. Um, we have the metals, crystals, and elements, which I believe all are from the rocks as well. The elements, you have to send those via the Geo Council. The postcards, you we're going to eventually do like the pen pals and stuff. So that'll be kind of fun because I've never really followed through with the pen pals. So I'm pretty excited to do that. You can also um, get your rat. So we might have to get a rat too. Or like, you know, um, one of the little like my first friends or my first pets. Sorry, <laughs> the my first pets. We're going to have to do that because I think they can bring you postcards as well. We also have microscope prints, so we're going to have to get a microscope. The space prints, which we can get from the telescope. We're going to have to get aliens. You can do that by the rocket ship, so we're going to have to get a rocket ship. We also have space rocks, which are also from the rocket ship. Fishing, insects, geodes, which are from the alien world. Decorative eggs, which are, I think we can only find them during springtime, and that's like one of the tasks is just like finding like decorative eggs experimental food photos so I'm probably gonna make a restaurant which will probably be in one of my speed builds and it'll only be for the experimental foods because you have to like go to a restaurant and then take the pictures of the experimental food which I think is really cool and I've never done that before in this game so that's cute they also have the void critters which are intended for kids but I think you can still buy them as an adult or a young adult. Sugar skulls are for the Day of the Dead challenge, which I've also never done, I don't think. We also have city posters, snow globes, holiday cracker plushies, which I've never done a holiday cracker in this game. I don't know what I've been doing. Who knows? Um, we also have the magic beans, the feathers, which we're gonna have to get like a dog or something at some point. I don't know if cats can get them too. We'll have to see. I'm gonna have to look into that. But they bring you different feathers from like Brittleden Bay and stuff like that. And I think that is like the cutest thing ever. We also have the ancient Amiskan artifacts, which are from the archaeologists from the Jungle Adventure pack. We also have the Amiskan treasures, which are basically from the same thing. We have the positivity posters from the positivity challenge. We also have seashells from Sulani. The buried treasure, I also believe from Sulani, yeah. And then the magical artifacts, which are from the realm of magic, which I'm very excited about. So I know this video was on the shorter side as well, but I just wanted to show the house and the sims that we were going to be playing with for this challenge. I really hope you guys like this and definitely come back next Thursday for another video.